Hi everyone, welcome to English Mirror. This video is on one of the greatest calamities England witnessed in 1665, the Great Plague or the Black Death and the visitations of other plagues in England during the reign of various dynasties. So let's go to the video. There were two great calamities in the Restoration Age. One was the Plague of London and the other was the Fire of London. These calamities changed the lives and the landscapes of the English people considerably. The Great Plague of 1665 was not the first instance of the disease in London. In fact, it was the last of a series of outbreaks. The plague or the Black Death had happened in England suddenly in 1348. Its germs were carried by fleas on black rats that came into the country on ships from abroad. The first time it attacked the people, it was very severe as the people had no immunity against it. It is estimated that about a third to half of the contemporaries of Chaucer perished due to that epidemic. Once the bubonic plague came to England, it took root and broke out constantly in different localities. It was particularly rampant in towns and ports. Between 1348 and 1377, there were three visitations of the plague and there was a sharp drop in population. It wiped out the monks and some monasteries and sometimes whole villages were deserted. Right through the reigns of the Lancastrians, the Yorks and the Tudors, the plague continued to harass the people. During the reign of the Stuarts, it became rare, but the outburst when they did occur were violent. There was one outbreak in the middle of the celebrations of James I's accession. Another occurred when Charles first became king, there was a mild one in 1636. Then, after a gap of 30 years, a major plague swept the country in 1665. In the spring of 1665, the plague appeared in London, destroying about 68,000 persons before it subsided in 1666. All those who could leave London did so. Several houses were closed and had a red cross painted on the door to indicate that the plague was within. This was the last visitation of the bubonic plague. It may take one by surprise to know that the favourite nursery rhyme has a very macabre meaning and origin. It originated sometime during 1665 when the Great Plague was at its worst. Ringa Ringa Roses refers to the reddish sores that appear on the skin as a result of infection. A pocket full of poises refers to to the medicines that a victim had to take. The third line is a reference to the chills and colds which usually accompany the disease. The death of the victim is indicated through the final line. We all fall down. Ring a ring or roses, a pocket full of poises, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, 
Please share and subscribe.